understanding of the situation and where the ball had to go. Here's Jennings. On the court for the Pistons, Harris is in at the point. He's out there with Jennings. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Monroe Harris. and Carl. Then he continues to shoot well after that blazing first half. And for Memphis, they're shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Monroe on the double team. The pass to Adams. Dishes to Joseph. Shoots the three. And that one's good. How about the response? Retaliation. Impressive, huh, guys? I'll say exactly that as well. Nice job to recover those three points right away. Harris kicks to Jennings. Back to Harris from past the arc. The shot's good on the assist by Jennings. Jennings has got four assists in the game. This is unbelievable. What a shooting exhibition we're seeing out there today. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And how did he get that to go? Even after the whistle, I like the awareness, the alertness, and the presence of mind to finish the play. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Thompson comes in for Craig Monroe. And it's Butler in for Brandon Jennings. And it's Harris off the drive, inside, and out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Marcus Gasol has checked in for Memphis. Detroit also making some changes. Andre Drummond's checked in for Thompson. And Monroe's subbed in for Butler. Feeds to Adams. Kicks it to Joseph. Fires the three. No good. Boy, desperation three. I think he's got to look to move the ball on in that situation. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds to the Pistons as Detroit retains possession. Now that pass had just a little bit too much heat on it for him to make a clean steal. Yeah, I think it would have been a tough catch for either of them. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Allen's checked in. Stolen by Allen. Pass to Joseph. Quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Pistons leading by 22. Here's Harris. And that Harris. one's on target from the wing. Harris has got 56 points in the game. Well, he scored over half of their points so far. That's a major contribution. Joseph, the pass to Gasol. The 17-footer. Rebound by the Pistons. Harris has got rebound number eight now on the night. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And what a tremendous game for Harris. Eight rebounds and some big-time point production as well. Harris. Wow, is he playing well, just taking over this game. Boy, you gotta love seeing a player get it going like that. Boy, still waiting for their first miss from the foul line this half. 100% since halftime, is that right? I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon if that keeps up. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for Corey Joseph. And a switcher also for Detroit. Bellinelli's checked in. Harris on the double team. Adams dishes to Allen. Pondexter from outside. That's good. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. For the Detroit Pistons, they come in off the loss to Golden State. Drummond the screen. Harris kicks to Bellinelli. Drummond sets the screen for Harris. Six to shoot. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Offensive rebound. Here's Drummond. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Gets a very good look and converts. Harris has got 60. Yep, he's their leading scorer, Kevin, in this game and has been the dominant figure today. No doubt about it. Harris on the double team. There's a good screen. Adams, the pass to Pondexter. Gasol kicks to Allen. Releases. 
and misses it off the right side of the rim. You know, that mid-range jump shot is not his strong suit, even when he gets a good look like that. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. That's good from Harris. Lures checked in for Zach Randolph. And Detroit with a change here, too. Ray McCallum's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Polk. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. And that will be the middle game of this three game homestand. And you know, for the Pacers, that's a game that they would really like to win. Allen dishes to Pondexter. It's stolen by Harris. Inside, here's McCallum. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. It's been a good night for Mark Gasol. He's got 10 rebounds and a steal. He's been their leader, stirring the drink at the offensive end and then anchoring the defense. Well, it's a good example, Clark, of how you set the table for the rest of your teammates. He's really brought focus and energy to this game. Harris kicks to Drummond. Poke loose. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. 12 seconds of the shot clock, 12. And the Pistons with possession here. Six on the shot clock. Baseline jumper, and it's Lule with the rebound. For Memphis, they've gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Shoots it up, and another miss by Memphis. And that's a shot he had to take. For sure, it was a good decision, just poor execution. Harris passes to McCallum, back to Harris. And Bellinelli kicks to Harris. Drummond with a screen on Allen. Here's Carl. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his fifth assist in this one. Well, for Detroit, their last game, a loss to the Warriors in Oakland. Three-pointer, Pondexter, and he gets the bucket. The defense sagged off, and, you know, he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. For Detroit, they've gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Harris kicks to Bellinelli. Now here is Harris. He's guarded closely, and he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. The drive by Allen, and he uses the glass on the lane. Detroit's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Out to the right wing. Bellinelli dishes to Harris. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got six rebounds in the game. He kicks to Lure. He feeds it to Adams. It's stolen by Harris. And now Harris running the floor all by himself. Harris. Hammers it in after taking it the length of the floor. That is as athletic a move as you're going to see right there, folks. Unbelievable. Clark, what about the hang time? Oh, you're man. talking about hang time. That fella had helium in those shoes. <laughs> Well, if you're going to pull off a 360, you better have hang time. He was all alone on that one. On Dexter's got nine points now in the quarter. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results right now. Yeah. In fact, three of the last five makes are from beyond the arc. And that one's good. And that bucket adds to what's been a big differential in points in the paint between these two teams. Defensively, the intensity just hasn't been there. Um, they've got to pick up the pace. Nobody near Allen. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the three-point line. That's four of the last five. You got to run those guys off the line. I agree, and the defense is practically giving them those shots, though. McCallum with the bucket. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. I mean, get the ball inside and just take it strong to the hoop. Be dominant in the lane. Well, the defense has been very slow to adjust. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Uh, he's their top rebounder. He's doing an excellent job on the glass today. Boy, I tell you what, I love the effort he's shown on the boards today, Steve. It's been fantastic. 
Harris against Allen. Back to Harris. Shot clock at six. To the paint. And out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Some changes for Memphis. Randolph comes in for John Lewis. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Quincy Pondexter. Monroe's checked in for Detroit. Contavious Caldwell Pope comes in for Ray McCallum. This all set in the pick for Joseph. Adams right side for the three. Count the bucket. Adams has got 25 points in the game. Third three in a row right there. Adjustment time for the defense, guys. Harris kicks to Monroe. Now the dish to Caldwell Pope. Harris passes to Monroe. Back to Harris. Stolen by Randolph. And here is Joseph. He dishes it to Randolph. Here's Adams. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. That's 12 straight points coming off three pointers. I mean, somebody do something defensively. Well, I, I agree with you. I mean, who's going to step up? Uh, they're rolling out there now, so you got to get in their chest, make them uncomfortable, and try to deny those looks. Joseph dishes to Gasol. Allen for the three. Cannot hit. And it's Detroit the other way. This has not at all been the kind of performance they've needed out of him. Harris kicks to Caldwell Pope. It's stolen by Adams. And it's Memphis on the break. Allen leading the charge. That's good. Allen's got seven points here in this quarter. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. And this is what they wanted, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. And I think it can be considered a, a statement win for the Pistons. Two great rebounding teams, Clark. Yeah, and these guys just worked a little bit harder tonight. That was the edge that was needed. Oh, oh, oh ridiculous move. Pour it down that time. <laughs> well, it's a wrap, fellas. <laughs> no way you come back in this one. Not anymore. Any chance of that happening went out the window a while ago. Adams outside. To the right side. Joseph, the pass to Allen. Just five to shoot to the wing right side. That's good from Joseph on the assist by Allen. Looks like they're going to finish strong, but just aren't enough ticks left on the clock. Well, Steve, it's a good run they're having now, but they just waited too long to have it. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. And he knocks down the first one. Both teams deciding to change it up. No good on the second free throw. Look at it, Memphis. They want to turn it around after the loss to the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Joseph with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Shot by Joseph. No good. Detroit's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Harris kicks to Singler. Back to Harris. From deep three-point range. Cannot hit. Joseph with the ball. Here's Theus again, Memphis. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. Throws it from deep. Can't get it to fall. And so it's the Pistons taking care of business here. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Well, you absolutely torched them from the outside tonight. Did you feel like you could hit from just about anywhere on the court? Yo, as weird as it sounds, at this point, I gotta say yes. Sometimes you just get so in the zone, you feel everything coming off your hands going in. Yo, I got to that point tonight, and I hope I can find it again sometime soon. Well done. Kevin, a young man always looking for more. Thanks, Doris. That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching. Now, here is our Jordan player of the game.